Right, I have decided that settling up was the best option. After living five years of full-time van life and living in a Land Rover Defender for the last two years, I just sold up and didn't have a backup plan. Didn't know what I was going to do, didn't know where I was going to go. And I've made a few <laughs> strange decisions since selling up only two weeks ago. So, for those of you that don't know, five years ago I decided that I wanted to live in a camper van. Well, I didn't decide I wanted to live in a camper van. I stayed in my camper van, left the house and just didn't move back into a house. It wasn't a decision necessarily to be a full-time van lifer. It just kind of happened. And five years passed of me saying, no, I'm not paying rent. No, I'm not going to pay rent. No, I'm not going to pay rent. And, and here we are today. Uh, for the last 18 months, I've lived in a Land Rover Defender. Uh, you'll have seen on my channel if you've already watched my channel before. If you've not, then make sure you subscribe and everything and go back through and you'll see the Land Rover Defender. A custom build, uh, kind of a one-off, big back, loot and body Defender. <sighs> About a month ago, I decided to sell it. And I, again, on a whim, didn't have a backup plan. Didn't know what I was going to do, but a few things. So in the last year, I've not moved and traveled around as much as I used to. I've been kind of stuck in one place. Uh, I had, I've probably done 300 miles in the Defender in the last year. Just kind of was a waste of that vehicle. Like somebody could have given it a better life than I was doing for the last year. Uh, and the prices were good for that kind of vehicle so I put it up for a price that I thought was reasonable although people tell me it was quite cheap um, anyway somebody's bought it and they took it and it's gone and that's it so a few days before it went I panicked a little bit and didn't know what I was gonna buy to, to, uh, to replace it and didn't have anything to replace it I toyed with the idea of buying a motorhome even though I'm dead against them because they're shit um, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money have that kind of money in a vehicle so decided against that in the end temporarily I, bought, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud temporarily I bought a caravan <laughs> Temporarily, I bought a caravan. I can't even say the word. One of them. A wobble box. I bought a wobble box. I bought a caravan. A caravan. I bought a caravan. And uh, when I first went in it, I was like, oh, actually, this is not bad. Like, loads of storage and that. I don't know why I've got to this age and think that storage is a really good idea. Like, And, and I get excited about storage. But here we are. I'm getting excited about storage. Tons of storage and that. And I quite liked it. Uh, for the first few nights the bed was kind of comfy and that and it was nice having a big bathroom and uh, a dining area and just it was just a nice layout actually it still is a nice layout however I felt vulnerable um, it's low down I'm used to sleeping quite high up in a Land Rover Defender and I knew that if there was any problems I couldn't drive away easily so I've realized that I already knew I already knew deep down that caravan life was not for me. But again, it was just a means to an end. It was temporary. It was kind of cheap. Uh, and it was just to see me over until I got something else or came up with another plan. <sighs> just before I bought the Defender, I bought a racing car. and spent a lot of money on a racing car. I didn't need a racing car. I wasn't looking for a racing car. But I spent pretty much half of what I'd sold the Land Rover for on a racing car. So now I've got a racing car that I don't need. The novel is worn off that pretty quick. <laughs> the novel is worn off that pretty quick, and now I'm stuck with a racing car that very soon I'm not going to be able to drive because I've got a knee operation and I'm not going to be able to get in it. Um, but last night, I made a better decision, I think, and bought this van. Um, it kind of, kind of was cheap. I'm hoping that it was cheap for a good reason. Um, it's a Citroen Relay L3 H2, I think, L3 H2, thereabouts. 
Um, 2011, so it's older than I would have liked, but it's got 54,000 miles on the clock, which I'm not going to argue with that mileage. Uh, it is in good condition. It's got a few dents in it. All vans nowadays have got dents in, uh, especially at the back. Um, but there's nothing I'm worried about. The inside's good to go. Uh, it's got a big roof rack on, an unusual shape roof rack as well, which I might be able to utilise for maybe tilting solar panels and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but who knows? Anyway, I've still got a caravan, still got a racing car, still got the other Land Rover, still got a motorbike, and now I've got this van. And we've got two parking spaces here, which is not good. <laughs> but it does mean that eventually when I start to recover from my knee surgery that I'm going to be able to start building a motorhome, ca motorhome camper van out of this and it will be ideally in an ideal world it will be my only four wheeled vehicle so I'll have a motorbike and this so that means everything else is for sale so the Land Rover Dif Discovery is for sale the racing car will be for sale the caravan will be for sale and this will be my only four wheel vehicle now as you lot know, I have got a few children, so I need a few seats, more than three seats. So the idea with this vehicle is to make it multi-use. I'm hopefully going to put two bench seats in the back, facing each other, with a table in the middle. So it's a dining area, because I like that about the caravan. Um, which then makes this a seven-seater, which would be good. Um, but also it gives me a good seating place and dining area as I've just said. Then I've got to try and figure out how I want a bed because in an ideal world I'd be able to drive my, ride my motorbike into the back of this and use it to transport myself around places and get the motorbike out. However I'm not sure about the dimensions, whether it's going to fit, my bike is a big bike so that may be a thing. If not it'll just have a fixed bed um, and then a dinette kitchen area um, with very basic things in it really I'm not looking for posh but the other side of it is that obviously you lot that do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do it you'll know that I've got a business building camper vans so ideally this would be a bit of a demo vehicle where we can show what we do um, so if I am out and about, you can have a look inside it and go, oh yeah, that, that's how you do this, that's how you do this, and you know, come to us for that doing and that kind of thing. That would be ideal. However, that's quite a lot of stuff that I need to fit into one situation, and I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. But most important things are that I haven't really quit van life as such. I nearly did, very, very nearly did, uh, but I haven't done that. And I'm still eager for projects eager for fun things still got a lot going on um, business is booming at the moment which is insane um, coalition vans is a year old or just 13 months old now 13 months old and it's been an insane year like I could have never imagined never imagined owning like five vehicles for a start like that i know that that's not so a measure of success but to me like when i was younger i'm a petrol head i love fast cars loud vehicles motorbikes love all that to, to own five vehicles now is just is just mental uh, but business has gone really well so in the next year i'm hoping that we can expand a little bit move to a bigger premises with more parking spaces ideally to have more project cars <laughs> To have more project cars and stuff so this year in the next 12 months take on more people take on more work stop turning work down um, and keep on progressing and pushing boundaries and coming up with new cool looking features in vans which is something that we are known for and we're going to continue doing um, all of this is just mad because five years ago I had nothing, I was kind of on my arse, I had a part-time job, my life was flipped upside down and the ones that have followed me from the beginning will know that it's been a roller coaster and there have been some real low points, like 
real like the worst things that can happen to a human being really like uh, uh, have happened in the last five years but the last two years or so 18 months things have started to go upwards and i'm hoping that i can capitalize on that and keep going keep pushing upwards and keep pushing forwards uh, i understand that things can be taken away from you in a second and in six months time i could be back on my ass again i understand that um, the climate is, is is a bit dodgy at the minute um but while things are good we're going to celebrate it aren't we and together we're going to have fun and come up with some good ideas in fact this is another thing i want your help on this van i want some good ideas so if you've got some links to some cool beds that lift up so motorbikes can go in and all that kind of stuff i want to see them because although this is only a smallish van i think it's a medium wheelbase um we're gonna try and fit as much as we can in whilst still making it quite airy we're not having a shower in any of that shit van life is don't have showers not real ones anyway um that wasn't a dig at brick although it's not a real van life anyway it's fine um fit as much as we can in this and um make it as beautiful as possible homely as possible probably gonna paint it all black because i'm a goth like that uh, but anyway it's, it's exciting it's exciting to bring you along on this journey i know that you've seen a lot of van builds recently um all, all over the last year from me but this time it's going to be my own project i'm excited citroen relays are brilliant I, i've in a way i'm kind of like really happy that i've got one because i've worked on so many now that they are I've worked on so many now that they're really good and I've always wanted one from working on them and here we are we've got one which is mental living a weird Citroen Relay dream right now anyway if you like this video subscribe and if you want to follow along I will make a video about the racing car although it's probably back up for sale soon so in fact I'll just show it you I'll just show you it's there there's a racing car <sighs> So there's a racing car, very briefly. Um, anyway, I'm going. Bye, Felicia.